Thank you, Mrs. Gibbs. This is a lovely arrangement. And best of all, it matches my outfit. All right, Mr. Van Buren. <laughs> my, my, my. Lock up your daughters. Ashton is dressed for the hunt. Are you referring to these wretched old rags, Tracy? <laughs> My dear one, there are two things I could never deny about you. One is that you have exquisite taste in clothes, and the other is exquisite taste in one of your wives. <laughs> are you off on a new quest? Quest? Conquest, you fool. I wish you wouldn't put it quite like that. But, uh, yes, you know a chap can't let the grass grow under his feet. Rolling stone gathers no moss, all that sort of thing, you know. <laughs> Monica Quartermain doesn't have a chance. For once, I'm actually enjoying it. Enjoying what? Seeing you chase after other women. Sure you haven't lost your touch? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, I'm quite enjoying it myself. You know, Monica has many of the attributes which uh, originally attracted me to you. You know, she's attractive, bright, gifted, charming. Rich. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. Excuse me, dear? Mm-hmm. Hello. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, I'm very glad you returned my call. Well, I, I, uh, I have something that I think might interest you. But luck, I'm available now, too. Perfect. Chez Pepette it is. I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. I take it by your smile that you, too, have, uh, caught the seductive scent of money. There are more important things in life than money. Name one. Me. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Oh, hello. Hello to you. I have a message for you. What, from Alan? What? If it was from Alan, it wouldn't be a message. It would be advice. No, it's from Ashton. He's in the living room, and I believe he's waiting for you. Well, then I'll go find out what it is. Thank you. Hmm. Darling? A little early for your bedtime, isn't it, Mother? Oh, isn't that amusing? No, actually, I'm going to fix my makeup. Going to put the moves on someone, huh? I have a business dinner. Are you going out dressed like that? Yep, but I'm involved in a different kind of move. You okay? Yeah. Good. What is in this thing, anyway? Body parts. I do autopsies at home. <laughs> well, she's a stuff. We have got to hurry up. We've got a wedding to plan. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nobody said anything about a wedding in the least. It's not yours. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, hey, the bride coming. Oh, hey, the bride coming. Oh, the only reason they want the groom around the first place is they can't have a wedding without one. <laughs> the reason why the groom is going to be at my wedding is because I'm very much in love with you. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hey! What are you doing? This oh. is the wrong time to change your mind about moving. No, not changing. You know, no, no wonder you two were acting so weird when I was here <laughs> earlier. You, you knew all along, didn't you? Huh? Well, the only reason why we didn't say anything was because Felicia wanted to tell you herself. Oh. Okay, Walt. Time to congratulate the bride. Oh, uh, yeah. congratulations. Sorry. <laughs> Where are you two off to? You too. We're going over to Catherine's to tell everybody it wouldn't be a real wedding without all of our friends there. If we survived Walt's moving in. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sam was supposed to help. Where is she? Where, where's a cop when you need one, huh? Or a computer consultant. Where's Ned? Yeah. I don't know. But listen, these things aren't going to walk upstairs by themselves, so let's go. Yeah, right. right. And we got to hurry. Remind me, I owe you a pizza for this. I've been super Shine. by Oh. <laughs> My arms are falling off, are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I were married. It meant a lot to me to have you give me away. Honey, it meant a lot to me, too. Well, I know, but this time I want to let you know, and I, I hope it doesn't bother you, but Tony's going to do it. Oh, sweetheart, it doesn't bother me. I mean, Tony is Frisco's brother. It's only right that he gives you away. Okay. But I tell you what, we've got another mm. job for you. What's that? I'd like you to be my best man. Uh, I'd be honored. <laughs> because you know what? Well, you really are the best man. Yeah. And don't you ever forget that boy. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm going to get the car, okay? Yeah. Thanks. Son, there's one more thing I want to tell you before we go. I love you very much for being there and for always being strong for me and for always helping me. I'm going to be happy with Colton. I can feel it in my heart. And I want you to be happy for me. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Oh, what a 
wonderful homecoming this is. Oh, I miss you so much. Where's Catherine? Oh, she's upstairs. Oh, Catherine, oh, nice Steve to meet you. Well, um, I miss you. Oh, I miss you, sweetie. Oh, goodness. How's Catherine? Uh, physically all right, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's rough at the front these days. Oh, did you hear about what happened today? Olivia gets up on the stand and then she tells the whole court that um, she and Duke were lovers. Yeah, I heard that. I don't think I've ever been so humiliated in my whole life. Well, until this mess sorts itself out, I'm open 24 hours a day. Oh, I wish you'd been there. Just wish you'd been there. Mm. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> oh, how are you? Yeah. Let's go. I suppose I prefer Ariel style. Short, sharp, to the point. No fabricated emotions, no wasted words. This must have hurt you. What is it you Americans say? So much water over the dam, or is it under the bridge? I don't know. Whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. Actually, it's worth a great deal. It means a lot to me. I can tell you that you're the only person who's shown any sensitivity to my condition when enjoying my recent ordeal. Well, this, this Domino fellow, I mean, he's supposed to have abducted Ariel. Could that letter be his doing? That's a kind thought. And it's not really surprising coming from you since you're the only person who's shown any sympathy towards me in this whole blasted town. Well, if that is true, then I am truly sorry, Larry, because you haven't done anything that I can think of that deserves to have to be mistreated. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. And look, as far as Ariel's concerned, I don't really think she was abducted by... by Domino. I mean, I know her. There's nothing in this letter which is really surprising to me, you know. Still, it can't be easy for you. No. It's never fun to be rejected. <laughs> I don't know. I suppose I should be used to it by now. After all, I was married to Tracy. A quarter main, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. I know what you mean. We do seem to uh, suffer under a common burden, which makes it all the more meaningful. I mean, uh, our being able to have a, a chat like this. Well, we do have one thing in common, that is for sure. <laughs> well, you know, it's a beautiful, balmy evening. Let's say we, um, we take a little stroll. I don't know, it seems to uh, relieve my gloom a great deal to be able to talk to you. Well, if you'd like that, fine. Come on. What will you bring to this joint venture of ours? I was extremely hurt when my father left me out of the will. First, I thought perhaps it was because he didn't love me. But then I realized that no, it was because he had faith in me. He trusted me more. Mm. Well, I'm sure that uh, he's right as far as that goes. To me, it seemed that he was saying I was the most like him, that I was capable of getting what I want without his help. Yes, but Tracy, you see, you're still not explaining your proposal. All right. What my father loved and cared most about in the world was his empire, the Quartermain Empire. He set up a circumstance now where Alan, Ned, and I all must work very hard to maintain that empire. Yet Edward left you no stake in ELQ. That's where you come in. Me? <laughs> I don't understand. My son, Ned, is a child. Mm -hmm. He has no experience in business. Alan is a doctor, not a financier. Mm -hmm. Neither of them is equipped to run a conglomerate the magnitude of ELQ. And you are? My only stake at the moment is in proving that my father is right. I am the best quartermain. Hmm. And with your help, I can so, prove it. All right. What do you have in mind that you can bring to our partnership? Information, inside information, and the ability to manipulate the affairs of the family. I think it'll be very profitable for both of us. In case you haven't noticed, Tracy, I am a very wealthy man. Profit is not my motivation. The Quartermain Empire has very diverse holdings. I'm sure you will find some of them of great interest. <laughs> so you are willing to strip the company in order to preserve it? 
Nicholas, I'll do anything I have to to prevent my family from running ELQ into the ground. Oh. Perhaps we can do business with one another. Where do you propose to start? I already have. My brother has done absolutely nothing about his wife, Monica. Monica sits on the board of ELQ. She's not to be trusted. She does not deserve my brother's allegiance. What do you intend to do about her? Mm -hmm. Well, Monica is not above a little um, infidelity now and then. The problem is she's become quite adept at covering her tracks. My challenge is to find a way to expose her.